15 on the timer. Finley crosses over, goes away from a screen, dishes to Quick. Quick has to lunge for it, gets it back. 10 to shoot in the corner right. Greninger cutting into the key. Greninger lost it, going towards the rim. Maxwell pulls it out of the air for the Matadors. 101-99, Northridge with the ball and the lead. 2.35 to go, second overtime. Green watched by Finley. Outside left, Hicks. Shot clock dwindles to 20. Williams between the ring center. On a weave, Green for Drew. 15 to shoot for Northridge. They lead by two. Green to the midcourt circle, 10 on the timer. Dribbles behind his pack, past Finley. Now Quick picks him up. Shot clock at seven. Foul on a pretty good sales job there from Green. That was Quick, guilty of the foul, but Green reacted uh, very demonstratively. So, free throws at the 2-11 mark for the Matadors, leading 101-99 to in the second overtime. Green to the line where he's 3-4 for four tonight and 91.9% on the season, and he's already missed once tonight. So, the data would indicate he's not going to miss again, and he hits the first. 102-99, Matadors by 3. 25 for Green now. Looked like the Highlanders might have him dead to rights at the end of the first overtime, but the Matadors stay alive. And now the second free throw from Green is good, and the lead is four with 2.11 remaining in the second overtime. 26 for Green, high scorer now for the Matadors. Patton's the game's high scorer with 27. Timeout on the floor, and we'll take timeout. 103-99 Northridge in the second overtime. Back in a moment on the UC Riverside Highlander Sports Network, proud new partner of Learfield Sports. You know what we add to every dish to give it that signature Jason's Deli taste? Absolutely nothing. Because pure organic ingredients, sandwiches piled high with fresh sliced meat, and time-honored family recipes made from scratch every day, taste great all on their own. So we just let the natural, simple taste come through at Jason's Deli. Simply good. Hi, welcome to Courtyard. Would you like the standard check-in or the NFL check-in? The NFL check-in? Rich, NFL check-in. It's prime time at Courtyard, and here comes Bill. Bill's had an unbelievable season so far with over 54 successful sales calls. Even though he's coming off a red eye, we can expect great things from him here today. This is awesome. Welcome to Courtyard, Bill. That was a beautiful name. Thanks. Courtyard, the official hotel of the NFL. This is Alyssa Ray Graciano, and I want to give a shout out to my stepdad, Philip White, who got me involved in the program. You're enjoying Highlanders basketball on the UC Riverside Basketball Network and Big West TV. 2-11 remaining, second overtime. John Ramey welcoming you back to the SRC Arena in Riverside. Northridge 103, Riverside 99, Finley and Patton. Johns, Quick, and Greninger, the five Highlanders. Into the offense, down four. Matadors have outscored him 6-2 in this second overtime period. Greninger in front, defensed by Green, man-to-man. -man. Quick on the wing left, Hicks is there marking him. Quick backs away, 20 on the timer, feeds Patton, post left, outside of the key, works in on Maxwell, spins away from the double team. He's up, missed it, back iron, tip, rebound, he's got it himself. In the key, he goes up, he's in. 103-101, Patton has 29. Northridge has their lead cut to two, 138 to go, second overtime. Green outside right, bounce it to the baseline, Hicks on quick, Hicks to the rim, he's up, he missed it, patting the rebound, Highlanders bull, down two. Greninger speeds into the offense for the Highlanders. Greninger outside left with 30 to shoot, waits for reinforcements. Game clock at 120, shot clock at 25, 103-101, the Matadors defending a two-point lead. Patton calls for the ball, goes against Maxwell, doubled in the post. Works it to the weak side, faking a 16-footer. Graniger feeds Johns to the post right. Johns jumps up in the key, falls down, feeds Patton. Patton's up and fouled with 105 to go. Patton goes to the free throw line. Northridge in front, 103-101. Foul is on Trayvon Williams. That's his first personal. Patton at the line tonight. He has 29 points. He's the game's high scorer. He's three for three from the stripe in the game. For the year, 70.7%. Pat, the senior from Australia. First free throw for Chris Patton. Short. 
And he didn't look like he used his legs much on that, and his legs have been bothering him. You can see him, he's been limping rather noticeably throughout the ball game. Second free throw here from Patton is good. 103-102, Northridge has a one-point lead with 105 to go. Finley, defense against Green in the backcourt, man-to-man. Green across the line right. Under a minute to go, one-point Matador lead. Green in front, nearly stolen, but Drew snares it away from Greninger. 20 to shoot, 50 to play for the Matadors with a one-point lead. Green outside, right of center against Finley. Good crossover, spins into the key, dishes left side, ball out of bounds to Riverside on the baseline left. Little miscommunication on a back cut. So 41 and seven-tenths of a second remaining in the second overtime, and the Highlanders have a pulse here, down one, 103-102. Quick gets it to Finley. Finley into the offense right. Finley's in a triple team, doesn't care. Drives through, goes all the way down. He draws the foul with 36 seconds to go. An absolutely busted play. Finley, like a heat-seeking missile, just went in the general direction of the key and drew a foul. And the foul is on Parks. Two free throws for Finley with 36 seconds to go. Finley. 18 points in the game, 8 for 8 from the line tonight, 76.2% on the season. Trying to tie this game yet again. Free throw is good. And we're all even at 103. 36 seconds to go in the second overtime. 19 for Finley. This free throw now for a Riverside lead. In the air and good. Finley's got 20, Riverside 104, Northridge 103. One second differential, actually not even. Game and shot clock almost locked up. 29 to play. Left elbow, Williams bounces to the post left. Hicks in a crowd, out for Williams, left wing. 20 to play. Here's Green, long two, right side, front rim no. Rebound, Quick, he's fouled! Austin Quick is fouled with 18.2 seconds to go in the second overtime. Highlanders 104. Northridge 103, critical free throws for Austin Quick and Riverside now. Quick, five of six from the line, 15 points. On the season, 76.7%. Don't forget Fullerton hit a three with two seconds left at the end of the first overtime to force overtime number two. Don't go to sleep on this game. First free throw, Austin Quick is good. 105-103. Meanwhile, Hicks is fouled out for Northridge. So Williams, Parks, Maxwell, Drew, and Green, the five on the floor now in black for the Matadors. Coach Cuts wants a lane violation as Landon Drew walked in the key there. He will not get that call. Second free throw, quick. Got it, 106-103, Riverside by three. 18 and two-tenths of a second left. The Matadors can still tie this with a made three-pointer. 17 for quick. This game is absolutely bursting at the seams. The participants, the officials, the coaches, the fans, everyone in this gym right now is suffering some sort of from some lovely and delirious cocktail of fatigue and drama, adrenaline. It's been kind of like watching uh, 10 guys try to defuse a bomb for the last 15 minutes. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's been a lovely ball game. 106-103 Riverside with 18 and two tenths of a second to go. We just wonder if we've seen the last Plot twist in this one. Riverside in the huddle to our left. In the home whites, Taylor Johns, Austin Quick, Sam Finley, Nick Greninger, and Chris Patton on the floor. Those are the five Highlanders. The Matadors to our far right, huddled up around Reggie Theus. Breaking the huddle now. Oh, 
Now remember, both sides in the double bonus, you could foul and send Northridge to the free throw line. You can't make a three-pointer from the free throw line. The foul on the floor and both sides of the double bonus. Matadors with Green, Maxwell, Drew, Williams, and Vasola. Matadors will inbound in the backcourt. Full court press from the Highlanders with Johnson and Greninger in the backcourt. Williams will inbound on the baseline to our immediate left. Now Vasola checks out and Parks checks in. So Parks in the front court now. Uh, literally, he's a guard, but he's in the front court right now for the Matadors. Inbound, Drew. 15 seconds in the backcourt. Highlanders defend a three-point lead at the end of the second overtime. Drew in the offense for Northridge. 10 seconds, man-to-man -man defense from Greninger. Eight seconds, right side green on the wing, jab step. Three ball in the air, short on the tip follow rebound. It's a putback, up and in, and a foul! Unbelievable! With one and three tenths of a second remaining, Northridge will have an and one free throw that could force a third overtime. And it's Aaron Parks, his first two points of the night, Patton fouls out. One and three tenths of a second remain. The officials will check the video replay monitor. We presume for the time remaining. Aaron Parks, 70 and 5 tenths percent from the free throw line this year, has not attempted a free throw tonight. Jones comes in. Patton is fouled out. Patton has scored 30. Twenty-six for Green, twenty-five for Maxwell, twenty-four for Hicks, who is also fouled out on the Northridge side. Now Patton with thirty will have to sit the rest of the way. One and three tenths of a second remain. Riverside one oh six, Northridge one oh five. And one free throw opportunity for Aaron Parks. Lucas Devaney is in for Riverside. Well, we want to shout out uh, Nicole and Jason, who are tuned in. What's going on, guys? Glad you're with us for this one. One of the all-time classic ball games here at the SRC Arena. 106-105, Riverside by one. But Northridge with an and one free throw coming here at the end of the second overtime. One and three tenths of a second remain. We better shout out our technical director back at AM 1350 Fox Sports Radio, Greg Onesto, doing extra work tonight. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for hanging out for this one. And we're very glad for those of you joining us via Big West TV or via the UC Riverside Highlander Sports Network from Learfield Sports. However you are taking this one in, we are very happy to be sharing it with you. 106-105 Riverside. Northridge with a free throw here that could force a third overtime. One and three tenths of a second to go in this second overtime. Aaron Parks, the freshman from Baltimore, 70.5% from the free throw line on the year. First free throw attempt of the ball game. This to tie the game at 106. Parks free throw is no good. Rebound Riverside, they win it. 106-105 is the final in two overtimes, and Riverside has defeated Northridge. An absolute classic on the first night of March. Well, we will speak to Dennis Cutts, and perhaps a Highlander here. In just a moment, 106-105.